In less than a month, Namibians witnessed shocking and inhuman killings of women, leaving some children orphans but also robbing the country of productive citizens. At the end of January, a 30-year-old woman, Martha Dishena, from Oshihau village in Omsatu region, was reportedly stabbed to death by her boyfriend. Just two weeks ago, a 24-year-old Miriam Tuakula Nanjato, who was an employee of the Namibia Institute of Pathology Laboratory at Shakati, was beheaded allegedly by her boyfriend. The suspect, who already appeared in court, confessed to the murder. On Valentine's Day last week, 28-year-old Helena Shivute, who was a resident of Etiliesa in Omsat region, was hacked to death, allegedly by her boyfriend at her homestead. The police is still pursuing the suspect, who is still at large. This was just too much for the nation to bear, and the Swabo Party vice president therefore said the ongoing brutal killing of women and girls must be stopped. Let's look, as somebody said, for other ways to punish the criminals. It can be done. Let's punish them. The men who are killing women, really, what is wrong? Are they sick? Yes, they are sick. Are they cowards? Yes, they are cowards. Are they men? No, they are not men. What is the problem? Dr. Gengob calls upon the entire Namibian society to see to it that all men who subject women to violence are isolated and severely punished for their deeds. On Friday, a two-year-old girl was raped and murdered at Katima Mulilo in the Zambezi region. According to the mother of the deceased, Brenda Setwala, her two children went missing on Thursday morning, but that one was eventually found. The following day, they reported the missing child to the police and only heard from the public that a child was found dead after being raped. A 29-year-old man was arrested shortly after the discovery of the body. A case of murder and rape has been opened against the suspect, who is expected to appear in the Katima Mulilo District Court tomorrow.